So what are you doing your Friday nights? Because I make Shopify app review videos. All right, welcome to another Shopify app review video. And guess what we're going to be reviewing? My favorite tongue twister. We're going to be reviewing Shopify app review apps. <laughs> God, it's not getting better. My name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io. If you need any help with your Shopify or Shopify Plus store, where are the developers you've been looking for? Wow, that sounded like an ad because it is. Anyway, this week we're looking at Okendo. Okendo is a relatively new app uh, on the Shopify store. It only has about 50 reviews, but it has a perfect five star rating. <laughs> app itself comes in multiple pricing packages which I'll outline a bit later it goes I think from $99 to $249 but there's different options if you pay for a year so it kind of switches and this review app is actually quite powerful it has Q&A photo reviews a whole bunch of things so I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna look at Okendo Okendo all right guys the app is installed and integrated with our demo shop and we are on the start guide one must love start guide it's much easier to set up an app going step by step on the first page we have the installation so three options are available the auto install the developer install okendo will send you email instructions and the okendo install on the okendo install i think the support team will handle the installation for you free of charge so uh, that's pretty badass we will go with auto install so click on the green button here and we are on the install details tab okendo is going to duplicate our current team add the okendo widget to the copy of the team and tidy up the review widget section so let's click on start installation and now we just need to sit here and basically just wait until the installation is done after a little more than two minutes the preview of our team is done but since our demo store is password protected we can't really see how it looks in the team preview but there is an open preview in a new window button so we will click on that all right we are on the product page yeah! as you can see let's scroll down to find the reviews oh here are uh, the demo reviews actually it looks really cool I uh, I like the quality and the value bar and the was this helpful feature is a nice surprise all right let's go back to the app click on product page here and open preview in a new window right here am I missing something let's see did, did something change on this page all right anyway let's go back to the app and here click on yes looks right because I want to go to the dashboard and see what I can do from there basically just click on continue to admin and we are on the app dashboard <laughs> The dashboard looks clean, so nothing new. Menu to the left with a list of items. The get started, moderation, products, attributes, groups, automated queue, rewards, general, and widget. We are on the get started tab right now, and here we have tips for the app itself. Basically, the things we have in the menu. So let's click on next item from the menu, which is moderation. In the moderation tab, we can see all the reviews that are pending, approved, or rejected. So just just choose from this drop down menu right here. Uh, new reviews will be waiting for your approval in the pending section just in case your competitor decides to uh, go to town leaving you bad review. Okay, let's see what the product tab offers. In the product tab, there is a list of our products with the number of reviews and the average rating. Not the most exciting feature so far, but we still have a lot to cover. So let's check attributes. Attributes enable you to capture a deeper insight into who your customers are and what they love and consequently don't love about your products. So that's pretty cool. Let's click on the green button that says create an attribute and a new window open. The 
first step is to choose collection. Just pick one from the drop down right here. Uh, in case you can't find your collection, click on the green button that says don't see your collection. <laughs> Pretty clear. Or you know, you can always contact customer support via the live chat feature they have right here. If you're lucky and you can see your collection, then you can set both product and customer attributes. Um, there are four types of attributes. We get a range, so customer provides a rating from one to five, the centered range, also customer provides a rating from one to five, the multi-select, customer can select multiple options in the single select where a customer must select a single option. Uh, in the review section, we are only left with groups. Product groups allow you to display reviews from multiple products on a single product page. All right, reviews are done. Let's jump to the email real quick and choose automated. Uh, in the automated tab, you can set email that is sent automatically to your customers after purchasing, basically asking for a review. So this is pretty smart. Uh, we see a lot of apps do this. In this section, you can fully customize your email and you can also include a discount code uh, for future purposes, which is really nice. All right, so let's finally see what the loyalty tab offers really quickly. And after that, we will check what we can do in the settings tabs. Okay, we are going on the loyalty tab. There's three options for uh, rewards that are available. So the coupons, the loyalty points, and no reward for leaving the review. Let's click on the loyalty points and we need to finish the general settings before we can do anything else in this step. Okay, cool. So in that case, let's jump to the general settings and a new window appeared. In this tab, the first step is to set rules for your email notifications. You can choose if you want to get notifications each time a customer leaves a review and you can set rules for daily or weekly digests. In the general settings tab, you can also set rules for auto publishing them. Just toggle these buttons from off to on. Seven integrations are available with this step, including smile.io, which if you're not familiar, make sure to check out our smile video. But in case you want to import an expert review, this is also the place where you could do that. So what else could you do with this app? All right, the widget. widget Okay, let's check that tab as well. So first step is for the widget settings. You can choose the shop review widgets, the show write a review button, the show review tabs, which add a small floating tab to your store. And when you click that tab, it basically displays all your uh, published reviews. Pretty smart. We will turn on all of them. And for review order, we will go with media first. In the capture form settings, we can choose if we want to allow media uploads like photos, for example, uh, within the reviews and also social media logins. So that's pretty interesting. Why not? Let's leave both on and kind of see what it does. Uh, in the end, we are only left with the styling of everything. So let's click on style review widget and a new window appeared. <laughs> Okay, I did not expect this. In this tab, you can actually change the colors, spacing, and visibility for each element on your widget. That's pretty impressive. Check the visibility section right here. Like, you can really fully customize your, your widget. That's really nice. So that's it for the app, guys. The app is a newcomer on the market, but has great potential. Attributes are an awesome feature, and with integrations to things like Smile, you can really capture a huge amount of reviews in what we believe to be a short period of time. Uh, our only little um, negative point maybe, and that's a big word, is it's not so easy to navigate the design, but now that you saw this video, it's probably gonna ease things up. And, and maybe for us users, add a progress bar is kind of explaining where you are in the steps or a guided creation because this app is definitely not your ordinary product review app because it has uh, this amount of features. All right, that's it, guys. That's what I have for you tonight. That was Okendo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a back of the scene look of what the app feels like. If it's a right fit for you, make sure, don't forget, don't start installing and uninstalling apps because every time you uninstall an app, you don't necessarily delete the code from your team, slows down your team affects your bottom line at the end of the day. So that's why you need developers like
yours sincerely. Anyway, I, there's a whole bunch of other videos. I hope you check them out. Uh, give them a like, a subscribe. Maybe you'll find some cool new videos. Check out our Facebook as well, where all our news, Shopify news, which is not about us, about Shopify news is being pushed out. And let's see you in another app review video. And please not let them be about more reviews about app reviews, having reviews for the Shopify app, because that's great.